a measure of justice delivered to the victims. I just signed your death warrant. Larry Nasser will never see freedom again, but for the women he tormented, their fight is far from over. What's next for you? To fight for the answers, I think. Um, I won't stop until I get the answers I want. Now, the spotlight turns to those who stayed silent for so long. These are the faces of courage, so many of them, 156 in all, who stood up in court to speak their truths directly to Larry Nasser. Now they can rest assured tonight Larry Nasser will never be able to hurt anyone ever again. A chapter in the tragedy of Larry Nasser came to a dramatic close today in a Lansing courtroom. Judge Rosemary Aquilina delivered her sentence in the case. Nasser will spend 40 to 175 years in prison after admitting he sexually assaulted all of these young athletes. The judge's decision comes after six days of victim impact statements, and that sentence is already on top of his 60-year sentence in a federal child porn case. Right before Judge Aquilina delivered her ruling, Larry Nasser spoke. Here's what he had to say in full. Your words these past several days, your words, your words, have had a significant emotional effect on myself and has shaken me to my core. I also recognize that what I am feeling pales in comparison to the pain, trauma, and emotional destruction that all of you are feeling. There are no words I can describe the depth and breadth of how sorry I am for what has occurred. An acceptable apology. Sir, you need to stand the microphone. Can't an acceptable apology to all of you is impossible to write and convey. I will carry your words with me for the rest of my days. Now, we are following multiple angles of this story as it continues to develop at this hour. Mar McDonald is live on campus at Michigan State as calls grow louder for the school's president to step down. We'll begin here, though, at 5 with Nick Monticelli. He was in the courtroom as he has been through the entire proceeding. Uh, the spotlight was on Nasser today, but really, again, Nick, it was all about the survivors. And Devin, what I want to point out is that we said 156 people got up in court and talked. That's not necessarily everybody, though, because some statements were read or read out loud by the prosecutor. Some statements were just turned in to Judge Rosemary Aquilina. So you've got close to 170 in all. But the judge wanted to make it clear this story should not be about Nasser. It should be about these victims, these survivors who had the courage to come forward. Larry. As I look at you today, I feel nauseous. One of the final chapters in the Larry Nasser saga began the same way every other day has. More victims proving they are survivors. I want to stand here and say that I'm going to be fine. That I'm going to be more than fine, that I'm going to be great. But you now know today was Judgment Day with a judge that many think was the perfect fit. Judge Rosemary Aquilina presided over every minute of this case and listened to more than 160 teenagers, young women and adults share what is likely the most disturbing thing that will ever happen to them. You are no longer victims. You are survivors. You're very strong. Technically, there were only seven victims legally involved in this case, but her honor allowed the rest to speak and says their voices did matter. 161 others add to the credibility of those seven. Sir, I hope somewhere you have heard everybody's words and it really does resonate with you. Once she handed down her sentence, the survivors realized the pain of coming forward wasn't for nothing. Yeah, I'm so thankful for Judge Aquilina and all the work that she's put into it and the team who's put into it. I'm kind of at a loss for words right now. I've been crying all day. You've thought about this for so long, and then it gets here, and it's very overwhelming. He's going away for a really long time. He's not practicing medicine anymore. He's not fooling anyone anymore. I think all these little girls grew up to, to strong women that really rocked his world. Now, Larry Nasser does have 21 days to appeal this sentence, the 40 to 175 days, uh, years, again, on top of that 60-year federal sentence. And, Devin, in a strange twist of irony, there was almost an Olympic-sized pride 
coming out of this hearing, the cheering and the applause after that sentence when all of those survivors realized again that what they had just done was well worth it. We're live here in Lansing, Nick Monticelli. Local four. You know, Nick, even with uh, the statement that we just heard Nasser uh, repeat earlier there, the judge said before sensing, you don't get it. There is still this sense that he has not come to full capitulation to everything that he heard for these last few days. No, and if you read his letter, or we don't have the entire thing, but the judge talked about that in great detail. The letter that he wrote to her, and he said in there repeatedly that this was a medical treatment, that everyone's out to get me, and that he was being manipulated. Yeah. He was trying to make himself look to be the victim in this case, and the victim said, you can't do that anymore. You don't have the control. In fact, we're going to talk about that later on coming up at Local 4 News at 6. The... Uh, interesting and tense exchange between the judge and Nasser as she said, do you want to uh, withdraw your plea? You are guilty, aren't you? That's coming up at 6. Yeah, that was stunning. All right, Nick, we'll see you at 6 o'clock.